welcome back to another video tutorial uh, in today's video I'll show you how to make this very simple textured crop top it's a very simple top and you can make it to any length of your choice um, the measurements for my top my top is about 10 inches long but you can make it to any measurement of your choice and then when it comes to this part I have 14 inches wide which is uh, 28 inches for bust measurement but um, when stretched it can go up to 16 or even 18 and the bust measurement I was considering was 32 inches so let's get started and learn how to make this very beautiful top so for this tutorial you will need a um, crochet hook 4 millimeter crochet hook I'm also using a darning needle and a pair of scissors and a measuring tip as well now for the yarn I'm using milk cotton yarn and I used about two balls for the full top or one and a half balls and each ball is 110 meters and each ball is 50 grams so let's get started you're going to start with a slip knot and you are going to make a chain that runs from your armpit all the way down to where you want your top to end so for me I did a total of 40 chains so to make a chain this is you're going to make a slip knot and make a chain so you just yarn over and pull through and yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and you're going to create those chains so go ahead and make the total number of chains that you need for your top for the length that you want for your size So I have my 40 chains here and you are going to go, the number of chains should be an even number of chains. So you're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but this one. And you're going to place a single crochet and then a double crochet into the same exact chain. And then you're going to skip a chain and then single crochet into the next and double crochet into the same exact chain and then skip a chain single crochet and double crochet into the next so we have two stitches into each and every chain skip one and into the next place a single crochet and a double crochet and this is called the Suzette stitch you're going to repeat this all the way across So keep repeating this until you have you come to the end and I'll meet you back when I have about three chains left and I show you how to wind up the row
So I'm almost coming to the end of the row and I have four chains left. I'll skip this, go into the next with one single crochet and one double crochet. And then when it comes to the end of the row, you are going to skip over this second last chain and go into the last chain with only one single crochet. So the last stitch only gets the last chain only gets one stitch, which is a single crochet. So we are going to our row two, and for row two, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you are going to go into the very first stitch with one single crochet and one double crochet into the same stitch. And then skip the next stitch and into the next, you're going to place one single crochet and one double crochet. And then skip one stitch, into the next, place a single crochet and a double crochet. And repeat this all the way across. So you should notice that um, the stitches are being placed into the single crochets of the previous row. And we are always skipping the double crochet stitches from the previous row. So repeat that all the way across. So we're almost coming to the end of our row and we have two stitches left. We have this double crochet here and a single crochet here. You're going to skip over the double crochet and go into the very last single crochet and place a single crochet in there. And this is what you're going to have. So this stitch creates a very rich texture as you can see here. It creates a bumpy texture but uh, the texture is so rich and also it's not so see-through even if you stretch it like to the fullest uh, the holes don't open up as much so we are going on to row three for row three you're going to chain one turn your work and we are going to repeat row two so single crochet and double crochet into the very first stitch and then skip the next stitch and into the next you're going to single crochet and double crochet into it so same applies to row three we always place the stitches into the single crochet stitches from the previous row and we always skip the double crochet stitches so keep that in mind and you won't get confused on what to do. If you've never tried this stitch, um, trust me, it's very easy to grasp. And once you know it, I'm sure you're going to enjoy using it for different projects. This is my very first project with it and I love the way it works up. It's not very quick, but it creates a very rich texture, which I like and i'm hoping to use it for my future projects so repeat row two all the way across
so once you come to the end of the row you're going to skip over the double crochet and go into the very last stitch with a single crochet and that's exactly what we did for row two and that's what we have for now you're going to repeat this row and since the top is worked from side to side before we join it into a tube um, you're going to keep working this until your top can stretch to your bust measurement your full bust measurement so if you have um if your bust is 32 inches you're going to make sure you work until you can stretch this piece that panel to 32 inches but not so much just give it a slight tug just pull it a bit you don't want to wear something that's so uncomfortable so you're going to just repeat that row until we get the number of rows that fit into our bust measurement so i'll let you know how many rows that i did for mine and then we see what to do from there so i am coming to the end of my very last row and i'm placing my very last single crochet into the last stitch so this is what we have right now. I've done a total of 40 rows all together for a size small and it can stretch to my bust size. So just do the number of rows required for your top to stretch to your bust measurement, your full bust measurement. So this is what we have so far. So um, the next thing that you're going to do is to join that middle section all the way from here to up here so get your dunning needle so after your last stitch you're going to chain one as you could see there and you're going to leave a long tail the one that we're going to use to attach the two sides together so just pull through but make sure you leave a long tail so this is the same exact tail that I'm going to be using to attach the two sides together so grab your dunning needle and we are going to start draining stitch to stitch what i'm going to do is to turn my work to the wrong side i don't know if you even have a wrong side because both sides exact uh, look exactly the same so Just join one stitch to the other. Without skipping any. so we are through with joining this part and as you can see we've gotten a very neat finish and you're going to just remove your dunning needle and turn your work to the right side when you turn it to the right side you're going to have something that looks like this and when you turn it to the back you have that line that's the same line of this top and when you're satisfied with everything you can go ahead and weave in this tail the one that we've used to join just go in and out of several stitches back and forth so that uh, this tail is secure enough and it can't unravel I 
I think that's enough and then you're going to cut your yarn now um, we are going to locate where we want our straps to go you can weave in this tail as well we have a tail here at the bottom that we had at the beginning of our top so the next thing is to get four stitch markers so I have my four stitch markers here and you're going to locate where you want your straps to go so for me um, I want a total of about 10 inches in between my straps 9 to 10 inches so I'm going to just lay my work flat like this and I get the total measurement without stretching so I have about 14 inches that means uh, minus 10 inches we are going to get four and then we leave two on this side and two on this side to get a total of 14 inches I hope you get that right uh, you're going to get the total measurement of your top when you lay it flat as uh, as you can see I have 14 inches but I want a total of 10 inches in between that means 14 minus 10 we get a total of 4 inches and we are going to divide that number by 2 so that we leave um, two, stitch, 2 inches on this side and 2 inches on this side and then 10 in the middle so place your work like this and at the 10th 10 inch mark you're going to put your stitch marker there and instead of joining you're going to put another one on the back side like that and you close up so once you have that at that 10 inch mark I'm just eyeballing uh, you're going to count two stitches from this side and do the same two inches sorry two inches not two, two stitches so we have something that looks like that so we have marked where we want our straps to go and you can adjust them accordingly like for now i'm seeing like this side is longer than this side so when i'm making my strap i can move a little bit outwards so that uh, i can get the same exact balance like on this side so either move in this or move this out so that you can balance um, the sides so you're going to grab your yarn and your hook so i'll move these ones towards this side i don't want my straps to be very close to the middle section so you're going to attach your yarn and we no longer need this and that means we're also moving this one to around this spot and I think this is a little bit more balanced just play around with your stitch markers and make sure you get a good balance for your straps I think this is okay now so I'm going to make a total of four straps so I'm going to chain three insert my hook into the same spot and double crochet here so I have already demonstrated I have a detailed video on how to make these straps and if you guys haven't yet checked it out I'll leave the link on the screen so that you go and check out the detailed video on how to make these straps so you're going to chain three more go in the space between the two double crochets below chain three double crochet into the space below 
and you're going to repeat that oh until we have a total of one two three four five a total of about 20 segments this is six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty if you want your strap longer you can go ahead and do more chains or more segments of this pattern so once you have your desired length of the strap you're going to chain one and cut your yarn so i don't want a very thick strap for this top that's why i'm not going back onto the same exact chain so you're going to attach your yarn into another spot with a stitch marker let me first work the front side and then i'll go to the back side later on so attach your yarn chain three and repeat the same exact process double crochet into the same spot and make the same exact segments that you had for your first strap So at this point I'm through with all my straps and you're going to make sure your yarn is secure enough and cut off the remaining loose end. I always make sure I don't cut at the edge. So I leave a very short string so that it doesn't undo itself. So you can weave it in if you prefer to do that. So I still have one side to weave in, but then we also have these strings here. So you are going to get your dunning needle and weave in all these ends. So I have all my tails gotten rid of. So um, the next thing that you're going to do is to make a knot at the top of the shoulder. You're going to determine how long you want your straps to be, but this is going to be adjustable and that's the beauty of this top. 
and the straps are just creating the best effect and the best design for this top so if you would like some detail on the chest area so that you don't have a flat top like this um, I'm going to show you how I made this let me just undo this you're going to get your dunning needle you have something that that is exactly like this now you get your dunning needle and thread it with a short strand and you're going to determine how deep you want your top to go because you may want it like this or just a little bit of fold at the top so that's what I had done just around here and I'm going to skip one one uh, cluster of stitches like that and then I go on to this side and I do the same exact thing until I get back to the same exact level okay so that's all that we have and you're going to pull this very tight and you're going to make sure you fasten it off like make sure it's tight enough if possible make a triple knot and after that you're going to cut your yarn so this is going to give you a different feel of the top something that's not so boxy but something that's flattering at the same time so this is it I, your top is ready to wear and i can't wait to see the versions of this top from you and make sure you tag me in your finished products so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you in my next video bye